Hi, I'm Heather from Hey Booktubes, and today is my Kindle Unlimited TBR, all the books I've checked out on Kindle Unlimited right now. I haven't done this since November or December, one of those, so it has not fit into my video schedule, but I do really like doing these. I try to do them more consistently, but uh, yeah, here you go. All right, so the first one is Haven, which is Kindled number one by Claire Kent. This is a post-apocalyptic romance. This is uh, a shorter one and basically they are sleeping together but they're not in a relationship and they sleep together to feel something in this world that you know has been destroyed and I am obsessed with Claire Cut <laughs> and Rachel at Rachel Reads and Sings every time I like post this as an option on Instagram and stuff she's like you need to read it it's the best so I love Claire Cut this is definitely happening this month. It's definitely happening. Then I have Sinful Obsession, which is Mafia Misfits, number five by Asia Monique. This is the Black Mafia series that I love. And this one is an Irish mafia guy. And I think not the best with character names, but I'm pretty sure that this is about one of the friends of the first main character who is a survivor of human trafficking. And I know I saw, I think it was Weekend Readers review, that you feel for her, but it's not like explored on page or anything like that. So, you know, it's handled carefully. Then I have Vicious Bonds by Shonora Williams. This is a fantasy romance by a black author. I think I saw this on Twitter. I'm truly unsure of how it got on my TBR. So if you know, <laughs> tell me. Cat, bless you right now. But she falls out of the sky and is like looking down the barrel of his gun. But Robin at Paperbacks and Planners, she read the prologue or the first chapter or whatever for a try chapter video. And she said the first chapter is basically him doing suicidal ideation and she said that was quite heavy and to proceed with caution and she was not expecting it so that's the opening of the book be careful of that but um fancy romance I'm in a mood <laughs> then I have Pharaoh which is Wolf Warriors number two by Casey Mills I saw this because Whitney at life with me on Twitter shared the release and I was like what is that and it's a black motorcycle club and this is the second book in the series so I did read the first book in February I'm like 30% into this and have been for a while <laughs> but I'm not DNFing it I just am waiting for like the mood to continue it you can read them as standalones if you want but this one is a second chance romance and she is the daughter of the old president of the motorcycle club and when her mother was killed because of motorcycle club stuff um her dad sent her away and he chose the club like the love interest chose the club over her and her dad was like if you're in the club you can't be with my daughter because of what happened to my wife and now she's in trouble i need saving and he's like you're not gonna fall through my fingers again but also we're going real slow <laughs> on the slow burn with where I'm at right now and I'm just and of course she is like I don't want to be with you because you're because of what happened to my mom and my dad and you picking it over me and that's a lot <laughs> but I'm into it I really like the writing then I have the four leaf which is a hollow nights novella by Lee Jacquet this has been on my TBR since April of last year because of Izzy happy for now it is a like St. Patrick's Day ish steamy novella it's primal play and best friends which primal play if you don't know is chase and I have literally had it on my TBR since I watched like her March wrap up last year but wanted to read it at the appropriate holiday <laughs> And so this is the one that I've been interested in the longest. I have now read two holiday novellas by her, the Halloween and the Valentine's Day when they released, but this is the one that I've just been waiting an entire year <laughs> for March to come back so I could read it in season. And I have Heartless Villains, which is Ruthless Villains number three by Marion Blackwood. Again, the series is not good. It's very gimmicky. It's very villainy. 
Um, <laughs> but this book takes place right after the events, I assume, of the second book. And we know that it's like a quest set up. And I'm like, ah, I don't know. Because um, I'm not really into that. But this is a five book series about the same couple. And I'm like, I just need you two to get your act together. There's like steam in every single book, which is great. But like they both love each other and won't tell each other they're at the end of book two they're both literally like they can never find out how I care about them <laughs> so we'll see we'll see how book three goes and I have the woman with the flowers which is coast of family number five by Jessica Godziella I've read one or two in the series for some reason I really it's because I don't read enough of them probably but I really can't remember like which books are in which of her mafia series she has two and they're connected one's like the new york family and one is the uh crap what is the name of her never never think bank that's not right never oh what is this <laughs> um wow editing me is going to know so quickly what i was looking for it's definitely called nava sync bank and a B E S I N K. I can see it in my mind now. <laughs> I knew, I knew as soon as I was editing, I would know, I would know what it was without looking it up. Nava sink. I know. <laughs> Never sink. <laughs> oh, I should send that to her. Never, that can't be right. Never sing bank? Well, she has this fictional town. She has all of these criminal elements these criminal syndicates that are involved in the town. And one of her mafia series is in that town. Never sink bank? That can't be right. <laughs> it probably is right. I don't know. And then one is in New York City. I'm not sure which one is the Costa family. I don't know why. I... <laughs> There's no reason. But anyways, so we have a florist who the mafia is using to smuggle something or whatever. But she doesn't know about it. And then we have the guy that's gonna like come investigate why things aren't happening correctly. And I know he has a tongue ring, so. <laughs> so. <laughs> then I have Sweet Fangs by Nicole Whitfield. This is Black Vampires. I got this from Sharonda Isadora on TikTok. She is, she and Tama at Shades and Pages they have been doing a read what you own challenge as well as the one that Izzy and Shay have been doing. So I follow her everywhere. <laughs> she does have a booktube channel, but that is not her primary platform at all. She's much more active on Instagram and TikTok, but she said it was great and I believe her. So I love diverse paranormal. Like that is easily one of my top favorite like if you're recommending a diverse paranormal regardless of what diversity it is regardless of what paranormal it is unless it's aquatic in which case I'm not as interested um I am immediately intrigued but like the top of that pyramid is black vampires for some reason I will pick up like any book that <laughs> I hear has black vampires if it's romance and um so I've never read this author before I saw her TikTok I know we both just loved Dre Anderson's latest release and uh, so I'm kind of hoping for something similar to that to be honest then I have The Mist Walker which is the Mist number one by Regine Abel this is going to be for my giving authors a second chance project that will be coming out later this month so I have this book for that this is a paranormal where like you have creatures in the mist as like a dr I don't know it's fade mates <laughs> then also for that project I have King of Wrath which is King of Sins number one by Anna Wong I know this is a billionaire romance and that Naima and Naima reads loved it <laughs> um and Izzy loved it too and that's really all I know about it I don't really know their setup but this is the one I will be reading for that project. And then I have Luca, which is the Eisenberg Effect, number one by Greg Huffington. I saw Tama at Shades and Pages and Syl at Book Voyager on Twitter recommending this book. Love the cover. 
first of all, love the cover. Um, and I am a little bit confused, honestly, based on the synopsis for this book. I'm not sure if this is like a marriage in trouble or an established couple or what, because it's basically talking about how they have children together and they're each other's whole world. And I'm like, okay, so what, what is this about? I'm so confused, but basically he's, you know, a criminal or something and bad for her. And she's like, you're not, you're not bad for me. Like you're not, I, d I don't know. I don't know what this book is about, except he's definitely some sort of bad boy. And she is the light of his life. So, <laughs> but I'm very confused as to what it might actually be about. <laughs> and then lastly, I have Our Official Condition, which is the Murderbot Diaries number two by Martha Wells. Bethany at Beautifully Bookish Bethany is hosting the tour.com readathon for March. Um, and they are the publisher of Murderbot. I read the first book a year ago, more than a year ago. I don't know, more than a year ago. And uh, I liked it. <laughs> but everyone just loves this. I know that like Murderbot is not romance or anything like that. He is a robot that is like a security force that has gained his own awareness and but has to pretend to not and does all these things and um, is beloved. I want to continue. <laughs> I'm really interested in their next book because it's fantasy, but I want to continue this. So that is that is not romance, but I am still interested. So we shall see. It's been on my TBR for too long. It needs to be read. So that's everything that I have checked out on KU right now. Let me know if you want to read or have read any of these, what you think I should prioritize, what you think I should like, what you think I will really love, and or what I should read if I like these. So let me know. Let me know your favorite books on KU. Let me know any of the things. And I always check out any books that you guys recommend. And I like, you know, check and see if the tropes and the synopsis and stuff sound like anything I would like. So let me know. That's it. That's all I've got for you. And I'm not going to say let me know any more. So goodbye. <laughs>